Hello engineers, welcome to Engineer Brandon's Tools. Today, we are going to draw the Nyquist diagram of a transfer function using MATLAB. And from there, we are going to find its other characteristics such as the peak response, the phase margin, the delay margin, and determine, we are going to determine whether the system is stable or not. So, I have an example here of a transfer function of a control system. So, we are going to draw the Nyquist diagram of this transfer function and we are going to determine its characteristics. So, remember in the previous videos, I taught you how to draw, that is, how to define the transfer function using MATLAB. So, if you don't know how to define the transfer function, you can just look at the previous videos and come back later to this video. So, let me define the transfer function. Then, to draw the Nyquist diagram, I'm simply going to type in the command Nyquist of H. So, when I type in Ny Nyquist of H and I hit enter, so, I'm going to see the Nyquist diagram of my transfer function. So, from here, I can turn on the grid. I can turn on the grid. Grid on so I notice that the grid is on and I can see the various gain the various gain of the system so to determine the different characteristics of this transfer function on this Nyquist diagram I right click and I go to characteristics so I'm going to determine the peak response so here is a peak response so here i have system h i have peak gain of 4.85 and i have frequency of 9.06 that is a peak gain the maximum gain is 4.85 and it occurs at a frequency of 9.06 equally i can determine the minimum stability margins so if i come here to cursors and I come and I click here so I'm going to see system age I'm going to have the face margin at of 50.2 degrees I'm going to have a delay margin of 0 0.0684 seconds I'm going to have the frequency of 12.8 radians per second and equally MATLAB is going to determine whether the system is stable or not so closed loop stable yes it simply means this system is a stable system so that is all about how determining the nyquist diagram of a transfer function of a control system using matlab and determine its other characteristics so i'm going to close this one and i'm going to give you this transfer function for you to determine for you to draw its Nyquist diagram and determine its characteristics. So you have 10 minutes for that. Okay, your time is up. So to determine the Nyquist, to write the Nyquist diagram. So to draw the Nyquist diagram, I need to define this transfer function K. So in my command window, I'm going to type in K. So if you went to the previous video, you will see that there were three ways of defining the transfer function. So there will, here I'm going to use the second method, which is the ZPK method. So if you watch that video, you will simply understand what I'm doing here. So I'm going to have a zero of one here i'm going to have a pole at negative two pole at negative four and a pole at three then equally i'm going to have a gain of negative five so if i hit my enter button i'm going to see that the transfer function has been defined as a continuous time zero pole gain model and it corresponds to this so to draw the Nyquist diagram, I simply type in the command Nyquist 
of k so i'm equally going to turn the grid on grid on so so here is the nyquist diagram of the transfer function k so i'm going to determine so let me off the cursor i'm going to determine its peak response so if i get the cursor i click here i'm going to get a peak gain of negative 12 decibel occurring at a frequency of 1.58 radians per second so that is a peak response then equally i can get the minimum stability margins so here is it so if i take my cursor i bring here i'm going to see system is k gain margin will be 13.6 i'm going to have frequency zero it occurs at a frequency of zero this line then is the system a closed loop stable system my lab says no it means this system is not a stable system so that is how to draw the nyquist diagram and determining other characteristics and also finding out whether the system is stable or not so thank you for watching my video please like comment subscribe and share my videos to others who need it so that they can understand more about feedback control systems thank you